supposed to move? Oh, fuck me! Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Remember, Remember. So last time, we got introduced to everyone. We got introduced to Lisa and Rosa and Peter and Xavier and Chris. And we found out that one of one or more of them may be a super murderer who killed um, Chris's sister. Or maybe, like, we don't really know because that could be a lie or it could be a truth. And apparently all of our memories have been erased and life just sucks right now. So we're playing... um. The mask, it's just the mask figure, like, you know, we're playing his little deadly game of not Danganronpa, and, um, we're trying to survive, but we're playing as Chris, so we're gonna, we're gonna play whatever next little game he's got set up for us. Uh, let's see if I can get this to play again. Not to interrupt. Yep. I believe a game is in order. Oh, joy! Just what I wanted! It's not what I wanted. God damn it, really? Yeah, really. I guess the games are scheduled out. Oh, did I ruin the suspense? Leave us alone. We're not ready. Oh, is the Monarch Butterfly honestly trying to be a hero? How interesting. Just forget it, Chris. We're fine. No, we're not fine! What about this is fine? Lisa. Don't, Peter. Let's just get this over with. Yes, Save. Oh. I'm afraid praying for salvation won't help you, Rosa. Whoa. Screw you! You're hurting us and putting us through hell! I understand. Don't worry. You'll be set free soon enough. But it's up to Chris whether or not you see your families again. What? Rosa, quit listening to him. Just get over here and line up. Rosa, come on. Is it always the same? Now, Chris, are you ready for the next game? What if I'm not? Oh. What if I don't want to go through this game? What if I just want to learn the truth and leave? As heroic and noble as the sentiment is, I'm afraid I can't allow that. That would break the game, yes. Why? Because it would break the game. It's only fair. If your sister had to go through hell, why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't these insects experience a form of hell they'll never forget? Oh god, what's gonna happen hey, now? fuck off! We don't even know if what you're saying is true. We could all be innocent. This is true. We don't know that. Of course, Xavier. Of course. Just let them go and I'll learn the truth on my own. You don't get to decide that. Huh? No! If you do not decide their fate, then I will happily take the reins and judge them myself. Sarah deserves that closure. How the hell can you know what she deserves? Because I know the truth, Chris. I know everything that happened those five years ago, when she was taken away from you and your family. And if you do not go through hell to learn that, then I will end this myself. <laughs> Chris, that is dark, Chris. Just do it. I'm sorry, I gotta go back. Hold on. Dark, Chris. He is dark, Chris, now! Chris. Okay. Huh? Peter? Just get over there and play the stupid game. We trust you. You really shouldn't. Look, you got this. Just focus. How sweet. The other insects are depending on you, Chris. Isn't it tragic? You know, I hadn't considered if maybe all, all four of them were involved with the disappearance somehow. I don't know, but I hope not. There's nothing tragic about my friends depending on me. Your friends? You mean the ones who helped in Sarah's disappearance? Screw you! Unless you want to tell me who was responsible, they are all my friends. And they are all counting on me. This whole game really is meant for me to judge them. If this game... Ah, oh God. If this whole game really is meant for me to judge them, then they are all innocent until proven otherwise. I can't let this kidnapper get between us. Yeah, let's go by the court system. I'm sure that's not corrupt at all. What? Got nothing to say now? That's what I thought. More proof this could just be a ruse. I just gotta run from this freaky bird thing, right? I figured you would expect that. But there's a new part of the story oh, no. you must hear to understand your challenge. 
What is it now? Now, where did we leave off? Ah, that's right. The butterfly ran into a sweet ladybug. The ladybug was on its way to visit its family and was running very late, but stopped for a moment to chat. However, the ladybug checked the time and quickly left to continue its journey. The hoots of an owl calling for its haste. That's interesting. How does that part change anything? <laughs> well then, I guess you'll just have to find out, won't you? Oh jeez. It's obvious that the butterfly in the story is my little sister. I mean, the kidnapper pretty much watched her the entire time and studied who she interacted with. The question is, is the ladybug one of my friends or is it just a distraction? I guess we'll have to find out. Better focus. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna save! This is not gonna be easy. Okay. Less time! Less time! What the fuck? Well, I'm dead. Well, that was interesting. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is- I, I get it now, this is hard, I get it though. Okay, what am I supposed to do, man? Oh god, I don't get it. Okay, we're gonna take this as the bad ending, cause I didn't- I don't get what I- I, I know- I think I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm just fucked. Ah, uh, damn. Wait, I can't go that way? What the fuck? I, I... Wait, can I go to the, the right? I don't get it. It's like I'm barred from going anywhere. <laughs> you lose, Chris. Truly a shame. Fuck, 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 fuck! Stop! Let them go, please! Wait. Swing all the tanks while you're the ones I say. <laughs> okay, yeah. The too bad innocent blood had to be spilled to achieve that. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. Okay, this can't be happening. They believed in you, Chris. But I guess it finally gives Sarah some closure. Too bad innocent blood had to be spilled to achieve that. So some of them are innocent, okay. Innocent blood, that means. Wait, you're. Yep. I pity you, though. I'm a pet liquid by Chris. Okay, that's the same ending there, okay. I don't get the- this game is hard, man. I get it, I get it. Oh, on, stop. oh fuck me, fuck me! Ah, oh, no, damn it! I get it now, though. I can only go... Where do I start? Do I start where I died? I do. I get it. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh my god, Chris! No more water! Thank you, Chris! You're welcome! Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, I see it. Oh, fuck! Oh, it went the other way! Oh, it is smarter than I gave it credit for! Fucking owl! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I see what I need to do for next time, though. Shit! 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 Oh, no. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this again. Because I... I know what I need to do now. I know what I need to do now. Okay. 
Oh my god, it's different! Haha! I tricked it! Oh, fuck me! Fuck me! Oh! You're welcome! Thank you! are welcome! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Oh, not Zack! How do I get back? Oh! Well, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's behind me. It's right behind me. Oh, it is faster than I expected it to be. Oh, no. Fuck you, owl! Jesus Christ, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, okay. Okay, I can do this! If I get lucky! Haha! Here we go! Ooh, ha! Ooh. Five seconds, five seconds, come on, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it! Oh yes! <sighs> You're welcome! With 1.8 seconds to spare! Oh my god! Oh! Oh fuck! Oh boy! Hmm. Oh my god! Oh, that was insane! Oh, but that was fun! God, I'm having fun with these challenges though! It's fucking scary, but I love it! That was close. Are you guys alright? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're okay. Bravo! You managed to free them once again in record time. I must say, I am impressed. Are you? Are you really? Is that a thing you are? I'm not very impressed with you, masked man. Although, I like that the bad endings are giving me, the player, more information. And that the the bad endings are, like, slightly different yet the same. Uh, that was close, though. If I made a mistake, then everyone would have been done for. Yet, why does a part of me feel aggravated? I wonder. How has the hunt for the truth been? Don't ask like you can't watch what we're doing at all times. Wait, what? He can see us even when he's not on the- Rosa, come on. Stupid question, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with asking? Just because I can monitor everyone doesn't mean I can read minds through the cameras. This is a point. Honestly, I don't want to care. This guy is just some sadist that takes enjoyment in our torment. So there's no reason to feed the beast an answer. Oh, no reply. Not even after you stopped innocent blood from spilling. Innocent blood? Does that confirm this is a trick? No, that can't be it. He's twisting the words around. First he claimed that some of my friends knew the truth and hid it from me. Now he's praising me for saving them? They are all innocent. Not all of them. Surely you know that. I already told you. Unless you want to tell me who the guilty ones are, they are all innocent. Don't think you can change my mind. I actually really like the actor who does Chris. I think he does a good job. As you say, then. I can tell that this won't be the last time he'll bring that up. He wants me to turn against my friends, but unless I know who the wrong ones are, I can't. I wonder how long it will take for everyone to remember. Take long. We'll remember everything soon and get out of here. Don't expect a happy ending, Rosa. Not everyone is granted such a thing. I wonder if there is a happy ending to this game or if it'll do the letter and just not give us one. Is there no way to get a happy ending? Well then, until next time, you should probably get some rest. Psychotic. What if that freak doesn't plan to let us go? I think we'd be dead by now if that were the case. We need to focus on remembering whatever truth he keeps talking about. The sooner we do so, the sooner we can leave. The faster I can know who... Wait, why am I thinking like that? I can't let the kidnapper get to me. He keeps changing the story. First he made it seem like everyone was involved. Now he's saying there are innocent people among us? Which is it, or how many are innocent? If this truth doesn't drive me crazy, the kidnapper might. Ooh, yeah, let's... Let's save. That's good. 
How are we going to get through this? How long is it going to take for the truth to come out? Stop. Stop. I need to sit down and think. Maybe if I think about the day Sarah was taken. As much as I don't want to, I may not have a choice. I have to figure this out. Maybe I can glean something from, um, from the memory. I'll just close my eyes and remember. Remember. <laughs> oh, there it is. Sarah wasn't anywhere to be found. I ran up and down the block trying to find her. It was so dark, I could barely see past the streetlights. Every time I called her name, I would only hear it being echoed back at me in the air, or being followed by neighbors rushing out of the house to inspect the noise. I didn't care. My mind was only on finding Sarah. Then I heard someone. Someone was running up to me and tried to help. Was it a neighbor? No. And I remember feeling relief when I saw them. Was it one of my friends? Who was it? Who? No matter how hard I try, I can't get a clear image. If I push myself anymore, my head will explode. Damn it. How am I supposed to do anything when I can't even remember that night? Fuck, now my head is pounding. I need to sleep. And I collapse. Will I lose myself in this? Will I be able to figure this all out and save everyone? I keep asking myself this, and honestly, the answer keeps getting pushed further and further away from my grasp. The longer we stay here, the more unsure I become. Is it because we're slowly going to remember the truth? Is it because I eventually will figure out who was lying to me? Was it one of my friends? Or was it the mask? I don't know. And I'm frightened. I feel like shit. But I have a burning feeling that I'll feel like this for a while. At least while we're in this place. At least we have beds and food as well as personal bathrooms. More things to make this place even creepier. Was this place built with us in mind? What was the bathroom? However, even in the privacy of the bathroom, I can't wake up. Not even the sink water splashing my face can jolt me out of this nightmare. All it would do is send water dripping down my face. That's obvious. So we have a shower and a place to poop, and that's nice. It's strange. The more I keep looking in the mirror, the more I barely recognize who I see. Maybe it's the dark circles, or maybe it's the lingering will buried in my soul staring back at me. My will to survive. My will to keep pushing forward despite this psychotic game I've landed myself in. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming unrecognizable. How long will it take until I don't even look like myself? With only my eyes to remind me that I am who I believe myself to be. Another rush of water across my cheeks. I need to snap out of it and figure out what to do next. I have to talk to someone. If I keep fighting this alone, I'll start doubting everyone. I cannot let that happen. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So... I'm pretty sure that whoever you, like, spend the most time with is gonna affect something? But I don't know, because, like... Uh... Because, like... My, like, my personal feeling is I want to spend more time with Rosa, because I like Rosa, but, uh, I haven't done either of the guys yet. I'll, I'll do, I'll do Xavier. Xavier's image popped up in my mind, so I should probably follow along with it. Now, where is he? Oh, there. There he is. Why is he looking at the console? Wait, is he playing the tutorial game? Xavier? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, hey. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing, really. I was just looking at this game console thing. This is the game you have to play to keep us alive, right? Yeah, not that I really want to think about that right now. But he's right. Game is what's keeping us trapped here. No, it's our memories. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Well, not really, but... Oh, no. Never mind. Not gonna continue that thought. Huh? 
Uh, what do you I, mean? I, 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 I really want to get in those. Eh, it's just the gamer and me talking. Don't worry You're about it. You're a me. gamer? God, no wonder I like you. And no wonder he, like, like, uh, like, no wonder he jumps between all of these different sentences and all these different things at once. That's what gamers do, like what I do. Well, I mean, if you have any tricks that would help. Not really. The kidnapper changes the tactics and gameplay of it, so there's no way for me to give you proper advice other than get good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a little douchey to say to a friend. Oh, but God, I mean, yeah, it is! Damn it! At least he's a considerate gamer. So, do you remember anything? No, not really. You? A little, not gonna lie. Really? What do you remember? Just some college memories. I was a graphic design major, studying game development as a minor. Well, that's something. Yeah, but for some reason that memory is pissing me off. Huh? Why would it piss you off? If I had a clue, I'd tell you. But all I can remember is that I'm a gamer who studied game development, and it wasn't because I wanted to do it. Really? That's weirdly interesting. <sighs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would we go into graphic design and game development if you didn't want to? Because a lot of people end up doing that. They end up doing the career thing that they are good at, regardless of whether or not they want to. It's people. That's right. Xavier never really paid attention to his graphic design degree. He was an artist of sorts. But he wasn't really focused on it as much as one would like him to be. He often cut classes and complained about missing assignments. Uh, given, uh, giving every excuse in the book. But he wasn't cutting classes on purpose. That guild of yours is gonna get you expelled, you know! I can't exactly leave it, Lisa. There are rules. Rules that say you have to attend their sessions even if it means ditching academics? Shut up, Pete. I'm just saying, you're on a scholarship. I know. Damn it. What am I gonna do? What guild? What are, what are they talking about? For some reason, the guild he was in acted like a full-on cult, demanding every bit of his attention. He'd always come back looking a little scruffier and slightly more muscular, which contradicted everything we knew about a gaming guild. Really? Still, he was adamant on staying with it, devoted like a puppy. I think you should quit. I can't, okay? I just can't. Not yet. We're, we're finally getting backstory on someone. Not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Whoa, Chris, you all right? Yeah, just a headache. That's all. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Did you remember something? I did. But do I want to bring it up? After all, I don't know if he remembers anything about his guild or if it has anything to do with Sarah. There would be no point in asking if it had anything to do with Sarah, but it is still a memory. Oh, God damn it! I am forgetting to save before decisions. I'm he didn't lie to me. He said not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna lie, because gamers are honest. Kinda. Yeah. I remembered you stressing about your guild. Huh? My guild? You mean game for life? Yeah. Apparently it was making you skip classes, but you never told us why. Does he remember anything at all? Where will this even get us? I don't remember why, but I feel that you're right. Xavier doesn't get headaches when he remembers things. So I can't know if he's even telling the truth. Should I trust him? Oh! Talk. It's time for another- Oh, game. joy! Everyone, please, make your way to the main room. Huh? Another game already? Damn it! Shit. I'm not ready for, to do another game. Hey. Hmm? Yeah? Don't stress out and breathe. That's the only gamer advice I can think of giving. Okay? Dude. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. I officially like Xavier now. He's still kind of a dick, but at least his dickishness makes sense. Xander's pretty considerate. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I won't let him down this game. So, shall we begin? Please, take your places. We're gonna get out of here. I don't believe you know that for certain. He's right. 
We'll slowly remember and get out of this hellhole. Lisa and Xavier. Such brave souls. I find it interesting that you both are still so confident that you'll make it out, despite the odds against you. See, and like, I'm definitely thinking that Lisa and Xavier were a couple, because they seem like it, by the way they act. Then you're stupider than you act. Oh. In my time. God, I love that one. That one, that line was good. Why should we give up when we know there's a chance to leave? If we trust Chris to save us and help us get out, then I see nothing wrong with being confident. Very fair. But allow me to be the realistic one among us. Your fate is in Chris's hands. Chris can very easily let you all drown. This is true. Shut the hell up! But it's true, is it not? Why, you could start the game and quite literally step away from the console, letting the time run out. Oh god, that's what I did! In one of them, oh shit! Like I would do that. I mean, I did because, you know, I wanted to see the bad ending. Oh my god, I'm a horrible person. You would consider saving the accomplices of your sister's kidnapping? You still haven't shown any proof that any of them were involved. Dark Chris has returned! I am seriously tired of this guy trying to convince me otherwise. Enough of the games! I want to learn the truth and leave! I don't want to believe that my friends were involved. I don't want to judge them. And there is no proof that any of them were involved. Why am I letting this asshole get to me? You have shown nothing to me to prove that any of them were involved with Sarah's disappearance. I don't have to believe a damn word you say. You're just making us play this stupid game because it's funny, aren't you? I like Dark Chris. Dark Chris is awesome. You're right. You have n That's right. You have nothing. Chris. You really believe us? That's why I trust you. That's why all of us trust you. If that is what you want to believe, then so be it. Huh? I can't force you to believe me. But the time isn't right for me to prove anything to you. Fuck you. Yeah. Be as hostile as you want, Chris. I still have you all trapped in my little bunker. And the only way I will allow you all to leave is when you play my game and learn the truth. I won't just hand you your freedom. You have to work for it. Or I will decide your fates for you. He's right. No matter how much we fight, we're still trapped in here. I have to play this cruel game, even if his truth is a lie. Will he ever let us go then? Now you understand who was in power here. You lost the power to control your fate when you allowed Sarah out of your sight that night. Uh, he did. How did this guy know? How? How did I know that? Simple. I know everything that happened that night. Wow. I have evidence and records of every step Sarah made, and who left her to be taken by birds. Damn. Again with the bird metaphors. Now, you will play my little game and discover the truth without my proof. That is your punishment for letting Sarah be taken. Do you understand? Wow, that is... Definitely. Like, I, I I, actually like that motive. Where whoever this is, is like, you know what? If you had been a better big brother and instead of like, like, instead of like doing the things you weren't supposed to and kept an eye on her, then it wouldn't have happened. And this is your punishment. Damn it. It's dark, but I like it. It makes sense. It's, it's in a twisted way. It's fair. It's wrong, but it's still fair. This guy's acting like he's her sibling, not me. I will take that as a yes. Chris. Rosa, leave it alone. Chris needs to focus. Yeah. You got it, Chris. Don't let this freak get to you. And there you all go again. So supportive and confident. It's like a huge circle, a battle of truth and lie. I know the truth. And none of you will speak of it. We would if we remembered! But you didn't, did you? The ones involved let the truth be hidden for years. And now you are all trapped here because of your cowardice. How could this guy lie so easily? Yet, how could this guy sound like he's telling the truth? Is he really someone I should listen to? 
Or is it just... Or is he just playing a fucked up game for his own amusement? I don't want to believe him. But none of his actions prove that he's just doing this for fun. He could have killed us by now. Yet he hasn't. I don't know what to believe anymore. Now, we've talked for long enough. Let's start the game. Don't you have something to tell us? Oh. Uh, oh, that's right. The next part of the story. The butterfly then met a horrible bee. The bee was doing terrible business with wasps. But when the butterfly approached, it stopped to chat. The butterfly told the bee that what it was doing was wrong. So the horrible bee shooed the butterfly away, scaring it back into the darkness of the night. So the game will have bees or something? Maybe the monster is a bee. glass tubes are set, and the game is waiting for me. Sarah, I'm sorry for not being there. I will learn the truth soon. Alright, here we go! Ah! Ah! Well, that didn't work. Oh, there's the bee. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh my god, no. Thank you, Chris. Ah! Fuck me. <laughs> okay. Got to get to my friends is yes. Why are there more? Ow, oh, fuck. Well, at least I'm back to where the circle is. That's the good news. I, I have just enough time. It's blocking pathways. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Thanks, oh. Chris. Fuck. Okay. Fuck, I gotta go back the same way. I think I have just enough time. I can make it. I made it! Okay! Yes! Oh, good! Oh, good! We did good! Okay. Save there. And now let's go back and see the bad ending. Okay, so I failed. You <laughs> Stop! No! I guess you really did believe me. Enough to fail anyway. Great minds do think alike. Truly a shame to see innocence punished as well. Wait. They were. I pity at least. Goodbye. Okay. I'm checking the bad endings every time, even though, like, it looks like it's mostly the same, just to see if it's any any real difference in them. There was a difference between the first couple of ones, but the last one, there wasn't much of a difference. We'll see if it changes later on. Good job, Chris. Yeah, thanks. I want to be happy that I beat his game, but I can't pat myself on the back. This monster who kidnapped us is apparently punishing us for what we did to Sarah. Innocent or not, I will forever blame myself for letting Sarah out of my sight. But to put my friends through this. If any of them are innocent, and it's my job to make sure they stay alive. But in doing so, I must put them through the hell of potential death. This is truly torture. Well done. Well done. I am surprised you managed to figure the level out. It wasn't very difficult. I'm smarter than you think. And stubborn as well. At least Chris is keeping us alive. But for how long? How long? I couldn't answer that even if I wanted to. There are so many variables. Too many hopes and despairs. God, this, this is Danganronpa! Just a weird one! Ah, too many hopes and despairs that would shatter any choice I made if I didn't know about them beforehand. What if I saved someone who had a direct hand in my sister's disappearance? What if I killed someone because of an accident? What if I tortured someone innocent? The entire game is the kidnapper's torture porn, and I am the star. Mmm. Your face is utterly enigmatic, Chris. 
I wonder, are you thinking about the future? How ominous. Well, I suppose I will leave you to your thoughts. It may take a while for the culprits to remember everything, and you need to stay sharp to figure out who is lying. We wouldn't lie to him. We're his friends. Friendship didn't stop some of you before. But let's not beat a dead insect while it's down, shall we? Well, that's a creepy term. <sighs> hmm. Screw you. <laughs> Have a good rest. The silence between all of us is almost deafening. What are we supposed to say, though? We are indeed caught in his disturbing nest. <laughs> Too bad we don't have alcohol, huh? Peter, now is not the time to be funny. He's trying to lift everyone's spirits! Then win, Lisa. We already have the kidnapper trying to tear us apart. As much as I hate to say it, Peter's right. We need to maintain our focus and get the hell out of here. Even if that means listening to Peter's shitty jokes. Xavier's just like ragging on Peter like he has a, like the beginning. What's the deal, man? Hey, fuck off. They're funny. No, they're not. You're not funny. I mean, you, looks aren't, you know, I mean, if looks count because, you know, you're pretty funny looking. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Self five. That was just a clap. That's sad. But how long will that take? We could be here for weeks. Months even. And what if the kidnapper is lying? What if he never lets us go? Then we're dead and we should just learn to accept it with grace and humility. As much as that's a possibility, I think I think that won't be the case. Something about him seems genuine to this fucked up game he's putting us through. However, it doesn't feel eternal. It's like he's preparing me for the bigger picture. Is the guy trying to get me to learn what happened? Or is it some mind game for being a terrible sibling? Either way, I don't think this is forever. There will be an end. But are any of us prepared for it? I know I'm not. Another day, another game. But there's... Uh, there's an end. But how far are we to it? There are too many factors to consider and so many fears to overcome just thinking about this. I can only hope that I can make it out of this with some form of sanity in check. That's if I even make it out. One wrong move and I could get everyone killed. I could get myself killed. Yet. Are you okay, Chris? Ah! Huh? Oh no! What's wrong? I just... I don't feel like playing right now. Why not? Sarah. Okay. It's complicated. Complicated? Like, it's hard to explain. I guess I feel... Hopeless. Worried. Conflicted. Everything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Have I finally cracked? My memories are bleeding into my reality, and yet I feel... nothing. For the first time, my slept felt normal. I didn't pass out, but when I opened my eyes again, I felt somehow refreshed. Is this some form of self-belief? Am I trying to keep myself from falling apart? If I crack now, I'll never get out no matter what. You can do it! Oh, God! Huh? Sarah, from my memories. Slowly but surely, I, I can recall everything she ever said to me. It melds so perfectly into my situation that I can't even tell if she's here or not. Not even a splash of water can erase her voice from my head. Was this part of my punishment? Was this something planned by the kidnapper? He had to have expected this. Or maybe this is self-inflicted. An attempt to punish myself on top of the game I have to play. I will never truly know. Still, at least I have friends to rely on. For now. Oh, she's still in her room. Like, I want to hang out with Rosa, but I haven't hung out with Peter yet. Okay, I'm going to hang out with Rosa this time, and the next time I'm going to hang out with Peter. Rosa has been on my mind. For some reason, I feel a little close to her. Maybe it's uh, some sort of feminine charm, but I have the need to speak to her. Especially with Sarah on my mind. Rosa? Chris? 
Come in. Her room is practically perfect. Like she hasn't even slipped. Like she didn't even sleep. Her bed looks untouched. Rosa, have you been sleeping? Huh? Oh, uh... She hasn't. Rosa. Chris? You haven't, have you? Uh... I knew it. Despite being stuck in here, we all need to rest. I don't want her passing out during the games. Rosa, you need sleep. I know, but... Hmm? I've been thinking about our kidnapper. And? Huh? Our kidnapper? Why? I'm trying to pin down who he could be. If Xavier is right, then we know him. Yet, I seriously cannot recall any person I know who has connections with us who would do this. Is, is that a napkin? Look, I like Rosa. Rosa's cool now. Where did you get that napkin? Huh? There are a bunch in the kitchen, in one of the drawers. I found a pen in there as well. It must have been left in there. Huh. I never really checked the kitchen thoroughly, did I? Then again, not many of us would think to do that. But looking at every person I remember, I can't recall a single person who would be able to pull something like this off. No rich friends or crazy stalkers? Really? Yeah. I mean, we're talking about a secret underground bunker with some sort of high-tech equipment. It can't be a teacher or a student from our school. Plus, they know of Sarah. So that means they have to be really close. Rosa seriously put a lot of thought into this. Has she always been this way? Chris? That's right. She was, a, she was an extremely studious student. There wasn't a day that she didn't have a textbook or a notebook in her bag or hand. However, she wasn't a very social girl. Not many people liked her at her college. Geez, do you know about the spit girl in our honors lab? What? Apparently, she has a full ride here. I bet she likes to flaunt it like some queen or something. You bitch! You leave my Rosa alone! She is quickly approaching best girl territory! I actually heard she's a freak prodigy. What? Like, she keeps carrying around her textbooks, even for classes she doesn't have. What is up with that? Must think she's smarter than all of us. It wasn't that she was prideful of her intelligence, but something definitely turned off any social desire in her to interact with anyone but our group. Maybe it was because we all entered and stuck it out through middle school together. I never figured it out. She even made notes about random topics that we talked about when we all studied together. Rosa, are you listening? What are you writing? Huh? Oh! I was writing about color patterns. Huh? But you're not an art student. I know, but it's interesting to think about how we all view colors differently and stuff. Is that weird? Just a little bit, Rosa. Xavier! Eh, at least she's not stressing about her dissection test. Well, I still am, but might as well not stress too much about it, right? She never failed a test. The lowest grade she ever got was an A-, simply because she missed a single quotation in an essay. Yet, she made time to be with us. Thinking on her now, Rosa was definitely a sweet girl. I just can't remember why she was so antisocial. Chris? Chris, are you okay? No, I had a flashback of you. It... That may not be the thing to say right in front of you, alone in your room with you. Or maybe it is. Who knows? I honestly wonder... <laughs> My brain just went to... So... Are we allowed to shack up? Like, are we allowed to, like, shack up with these girls? Because, you know, she's pretty cute. I like her. Huh? Jeez, you scared me. Here, I ran and got you some water. Thanks. What happened? Did you remember something? I remember that you were an antisocial nerd! A hot nerd, to be exact. Shit. She might be thinking that I remember something about the kidnapper, but in reality, I was thinking about her. I'm gonna tell the truth! Not really. I was remembering something about you, I guess. Huh? About me? Yeah, about how you were in college and stuff, you know? You were always taking notes and fine things the rest of us couldn't, even before Xavier. The look on Rose's face is completely enigmatic. Uh, I... Well, I guess that's something. Well, now we know we're fast. I bet she thinks I'm weirder now. Great. I'm sorry. No, 
no, it's fine. I mean, it's memory, so it's important. I guess she, uh, Gus? I, 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 Gus? She understands? I uh, Gus. Let's try to continue the topic. I'm, I, I'm interested. Still, maybe she remembered how she became antisocial. She seems to remember much more than I did. Say, Rosa? What is it? Do you remember having any other friends except for us in college? Us being everyone in this bunker. Does she not remember? Mm, I don't think so. I think you and the others were my only friends. She didn't seem to get a headache, so maybe she already remembered? Do you, you remember why? Hmm. Hopefully she does. Well... My, my, look at the time. Oh. It must be time for the game. Everyone, to the main room, please. Another game. Oh, joy. Uh, oh. Another game. Uh. Rosa looks more shaken than normal. Is she nervous for the result? All I know is that I have to save her and the others. I wonder, though, how much does she know? Let's just get this over with. Don't act like you're getting used to this. That's creepy. The faster we get this done, though, the better. So Xavier's right to think that way. Still, we shouldn't make it out like this is a familiar feeling. All of you are so obedient today. I wonder what changed. It's day, what, three? No, it's day four. We're on day four of this, so Jesus. Don't fool yourself. We just want to leave. This is a point. Does Chris know the truth? Well, no. Then you can't <laughs> Oh my god! That was such a dick move! Oh, I want to hear that again. Hold on. Well, no. Don't fool yourself. Does Chris know the truth? Well, no, but... Then you can't leave. <laughs> god, it's so horrible. Just... Just... <laughs> Just, we want to leave. Does Chris know the truth? No? Then no! God damn it. We don't remember everything yet. As soon as we do, Chris will know the truth. And until then, you all will keep going through this game over and over. Has this game done nothing to help? All it's done is put us in danger. We can't remember anything under such stress. Well, sometimes you can. Is that so? What is this guy implying? Well, we'll see after I reveal this next part of the story. It's sure to pique some interest. Hurry it up! So testy today, Xavier. Have I touched a nerve? You're pissing me off, that's for sure. Of course, of course! The brave and mighty Xavier standing up to the cruel and evil bird that is his captor. So noble. And yet... So laughable. Just hurry up! Xavier, calm down! There's no use getting riled up so quickly. We have to go through this, or we may get electrocuted. It's okay, Chris. You can- That's not good! Huh? Sarah? Huh? Chris, what's the matter? Hmm. Shit. I don't want them to know that I keep hearing Sarah or they'll, they'll freak out. Sorry. I'm just tired. It's nothing. All right. Is the kidnapper gonna rat me out? I'm sure at least he heard me. Well then, the story. Thank God! Finally, the butterfly met the bird, who sang a sweet little song, and asked the butterfly to fly away with them. The butterfly agreed and began to follow. In the bushes, a cowardly spider quietly watched as the butterfly was led away to a dark patch of woods. So we have a ladybug, a bee, and a spider. But the bee was the enemy in the last game, so what does that mean? Are any of them truly the insects of the story? Or is the story a fake? Interesting. What? What's so interesting now? No one seems to be getting affected. What? What are you talking? Hey! You can't do that! I can, and I did. So let the game begin. Jesus. Now, I noticed something there. He said no one's affected. That means one of two things. Either the memories are not coming back the way that they're supposed to, the way that the kidnapper wants, 
or something is wrong with his story. Because I'm guessing that what he means is that like these insects, the um, the butterfly, the bee, the spider, like the, the like the cowardly spider that like sat and watched it all happen, like. I am guessing that these are the friends. These are the friends, but we don't know how they correspond to each other. And he is looking for their reactions. For one of them to realize that they are these insects. But it's not happening, so he's getting frustrated. At least that's what I can imagine. Whoa, now he's rushing us? What's the matter with this guy? They finally Did we finally make him snap or something? Guess I better try and hurry up this game. Just gotta breathe and do it. What the fuck? There are grabby hands! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, yes. No more water. Thank you, Chris. Ah, oh, damn it! I touch the grabby hands and they run after me. I get it, I get it, okay. Why are the grabby hands move? They're not supposed to move! Oh fuck me! This is bullshit! Oh, oh why? I gotta die here. I gotta die here so I don't run away and lose it. Oh, and the grabby hands are getting more prevalent. I get it. Here we go. We're going, 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 going, go, 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 go. Yes, we made it! Okay, okay, we have enough time to get to the last one. We can do this, we can do this, come on. Not like that we can't, not like that we can't. Fuck. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. No, so close! Damn it, I'm not gonna make it. With such little time left, I'm not gonna make it. Fuck. Yeah, this will be the bad ending. Damn it! No! I got so close! Damn it! Before learning anything tragic, at least justice prevailed in the end. Justice prevailed. Wait, they were. I pit at least she won't have to see your pathetic goodbye, Chris. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, the water stop. Thanks. Okay. Ah, the water stopped. Thanks. God, Chris. I'm doing so much better this time around. Let's go up. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, they were all chasing me there, but I got three of them, like, in, like, one go! I did good! Okay, here we go. Just gotta get to the last one, which... That'll be easy. Oh my god, Jack! No more water! Thank you, You're welcome! Conquered True Fear. Another game was beaten. Well done. Well done. Wait, what's with his tone? <laughs> Take that, you piece of shit. Chris will beat every single game you throw at us. I've noticed. Is he angry? What's the matter? I thought you enjoyed seeing us like this. You misunderstand my amusement, then. Who cares? The game's over! This game, yes. I had much more planned for you all. But it seems that these games are having little effect on your memories and are merely delaying the final product I was looking for. What? What are you talking about? Wait. This entire time, 
You were trying to get us to remember the past with torture? This is why I despise youth. Ignorant and small-minded. Unable to comprehend their surroundings and situation unless guided. Is he old or is he just saying that? How in the hell was torture supposed to get us to remember anything? The story. What? The story? You mean that creepy tale he kept telling us? Subjecting the human mind to vast amounts of stress is both a hindrance and an improvement in explicit memory. Using emotionally linked words during a moment of anxious duress can cause memories to be recalled. Stress hormones can literally enhance the brain's ability to remember certain events if key emotional phrases are used. So... That story you've been telling us... ...was meant to force memories out. I thought the wording of it would click through. However, it seems to have been for naught. That is what I get for trying a new method of assessment. So you put us through this game for nothing?! Not so, Lisa. As all experiments have potential, this one just ended in failure. That does not mean that I cannot get what I desire. How do you plan to do that? Indeed. How? How many times will this world become more psychotic? How are we supposed to get out of here at this rate if this guy is literally experimenting? One final game. A final game? That means... Yes. The next game will be your last. However, I will reveal the truth before it plays out. What?! Why not now? So the guilty ones can beg for forgiveness before they are found out. Just because this experiment seems to have ended in failure, does not mean that each of you does not remember the past. After all, the guilty ones hid the truth for a long, long time. Who's to say that they aren't lying now? This is even more fucked up than before. I have to play one final game to set everyone free? Am I going to learn the truth? I can't help but feel excited. What is wrong with me? You're Dark Chris right now! Dark Chris is evil. Let's... There's Dark Chris. Dark Chris is evil. So I'll learn everything tomorrow. Indeed. You'll learn who are the guilty ones. Just as Sarah intended. Did she truly want this? You can't even answer that? Well then. Are we done here? Shall I tell you how many? Huh? How many what? How many? How many of them are guilty? How many of your friends are innocent? You're really gonna tell us? Chris? Chris, you don't have- Why not? Huh? Peter? Why shouldn't Chris learn how many of us are innocent? It'd be better to know what's at stake than to assume all of us are innocent. That seems a little backward. Why would- If Chris knew how many of us were innocent, then the ones who weren't would start getting paranoid the closer to the game we got. Leading the guilty ones to reveal themselves. <sighs> Well, Chris, oh my God. all you need to do is ask me, how many of my friends are innocent? Should I? Do I? Would I? This could wedge a large wall between my friends and me, but this also allows me to know who the ones to watch out for. Oh my God! Oh my God, and you know what? I think that's where I have to cut it. I've got to cut it before this decision, because this is a turning point. I know that this is a big turning point, because what I choose is definitely going to change things, and I'm so excited for that! Um, it seems like this game is going to be pretty short, like, not many episodes devoted to it, but god damn, I am still having so much fun with it. So, thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you being here with me. Oh, next time I get to decide if I want to ask him how many or not, I don't know what I'm going to choose. Like... I, I will definitely choose both of them at one point. That's why I made the save. But I'm going to have to see what happens. I'm, I'm curious. God. Oh, this has got my creative juices flowing again. Ah. So yeah. At this point, I have no idea who it could or who it may or may not be. But we'll figure it out probably in the next episode. So thanks again. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.